Hey, welcome back to Barlow Barbecue. We're feeling in a breakfast mood today. Let's make some jalapeno waffles, smoke up some pork steaks on the Weber kettle grill, and let's make some ancho chili infused maple syrup to top it all off with. I think this one's gonna be pretty good, y'all, so stick around and let's get started. All right, guys, we got a lot of stuff to make today. We gotta make the ancho chili maple syrup, smoke the pork steaks, and make some jalapeno waffles. So since we're gonna put the maple syrup on with the pork steaks as they cook, let's get that prepped first. I've got a couple dried ancho chilies here that I'm gonna break up into the saucepan, and then we're gonna pour about two cups of maple syrup right in there. Breaking up the chilies like that will help the flavor infuse into the maple syrup. All right, that's all set to go. Now let's take a look at our pork steaks. We're gonna smoke those and then sear them at the end. I'm gonna hit those with a little bit of some Rich's River Dirt all-purpose seasoning, but you go ahead and use whatever your favorite is. All right, that's it. These are ready to go on the smoker. We're using my Weber kettle today and it's come up to temp. We're looking at 250 degrees. So it's time to get those pork steaks on and that maple syrup. So we're gonna smoke these pork steaks until they hit an internal temp of about 120 degrees. Yeah, give or take, we're not being too precise today. And we're also gonna let this maple syrup kind of simmer. So I'll see you again when these are done and ready to sear. It's another lovely day in Western North Carolina. For our waffles, we decided to take it easy. And we're just gonna use the recipe on the side of the Bisquick box. The only change we're gonna make is we're gonna replace half a cup of Bisquick with half a cup of cornmeal. For good measure, I'm going to throw in a couple minced jalapenos. This is going to be great. Let's go inside and make these waffles. All right, folks, the pork steaks have been smoking for about an hour on the Weber kettle. I think everything's done, ready to take off, especially this maple syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and just strain that right into this glass jar, and that maple syrup will be good to go. In preparation for the sear, I'm adding a fresh batch of charcoal, and now these pork steaks are ready to start grilling. I tell you what, those pork steaks are looking gorgeous and I think it's time to get them off the grill. I didn't really cook these to temperature, just kind of winging it. So let's build our waffles. This is 
going to be the most exciting part of this video. The weather is so cold today. It's even snowing a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I just want to try one of these chilies. They're all candied and sticky. And that's uh, one of the dry chilies that we had going on in the maple syrup there. How was that? That's delicious. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Can't oh wait to try goodness. that maple syrup. Let's try it now. All right. Martha's got some bites all loaded up for us here. Here we go. Don't you wish you were us? Mmm. 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 I'm just going to let that sit with me just for a minute because it's so delicious. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I took a huge bite and I wish it could have been bigger. I'm going to take one more bite. Mm hmm. Uh, bite number two. Mm. Mm hmm Wow. It's so good. Y'all need to try this one. That's all yep. I really got to say. Everything about that's perfect. Everything I hope for. Yep. Except for that it's not warm out. Smoky, sweet, the maple syrup's a real nice touch. Yep, those pork steaks, they're mm. great for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wrap it up, y'all. Thanks a lot for spending time with us today. We get a full recipe for everything right down below in the description box if you want to try it out for yourself, and we hope you do. So we're going to say we love you, and until next time, smoke them if you got them. That's right. See ya.